Hello everyone, so I've seen a couple of videos from Amador and someone else which I will um, put the link in the description bar because I don't remember uh, the YouTube name but it's about uh, show us your hoard vault so here's a quick tour of my of uh, some of the things that are in my hoard vault which uh, some of them I plan to use because since last year I have decided to really dig into my hoard vault and uh, use up my stash because uh, this just doesn't make sense to me anymore to do that so but there are still some things that are hard for me to um, use up but I've started uh, I, I I would say I'm a, I'm in pretty good shape with uh, using up my uh, my stuff because I've used up uh, eight by eight uh, some of my eight by eight printery stack um, most of my six by six printery stack I've used a couple of other um, um, paper stash that were in my hoard vault as well as some embellishments uh, such as prima flowers and stuff like that that were uh, dear to me but uh, I still have a couple of things in my hoard vault from a very long time ago starting with this uh, Teresa Collins notations me uh, memory album kit so it comes with a binder as you can see here and inside the binder there's a lot of different pieces for those of you who don't know what it is uh, you have all of those pieces in there and it's all in the cream and black colors and it's super elegant in the, in the, the Teresa Collins uh, style and there are uh, stickers and uh, tags and cutouts and a lot of different uh, cool things like letters um, this is an envelope um, so these are all of the pages and you can even add more because there's a lot of space in this um, in this uh, binder so I was going I was planning on using this to make a, a journal about um, my uh, journey uh, during uh, quitting smoking so I took a lot of uh, notes about uh, how I was feeling while I was uh, trying to quit smoking and stuff like that and I kind of recorded uh, every day every minute of the day almost how I was feeling uh, what were the withdrawals and uh, what intensity and so I wanted to really to keep track uh, of uh, how it was going so I kept all my notes and I was going to uh, make a kind of a journal about it and it it's going to be perfect because it's it's small enough and I could add to it like uh, I've kept some uh, articles in the journal in the in the newspaper uh, here and there or magazines uh, saying about uh, you know how uh, smoking is bad for you and stuff like that so just you know to add more to my uh, journal about that so it's been um, a year and a half now that I that I've stopped smoking and um, I quit uh, without any help so no patches no meds no uh, hypnosis or anything so I'm pretty uh, pretty proud of myself for that I have been a smoker for uh, 17 years before so um, that's a decision I uh, decided to make and um, so far so good and um, I, I can't I can't even imagine my life smoking anymore so okay enough about, about that I wanted this video to be uh, pretty quick but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna show you the rest of my uh, heart vault uh, stuff so to keep on with the Teresa Collins team, we have the Posh Collection, which I have here with the Brads. Um, I have uh, two pages and uh, two pages of each of the sheets of the collection, uh, including the um, you know the acetate pages and some of the pages in that I have a uh, double, um, not double but uh, triple of because uh, I like them so much. So I have this collection, the Posh collection, which I didn't touch and I don't know when I will. 
and I have also uh, this one it's the timeless collection with the brads the brads are so pretty and I apparently I used two of the brads I don't even remember where but um, so I have uh, everything in that um, in that collection so I didn't touch that and I keep that in this uh, kind of a plasticky envelope and so yeah I'm showing you the back which is a black page but anyway so I have this in my hoard vault um, so this was the Theresa Collins section of my hoard vault now I'm gonna move on to the uh, Prima Okay, so here's my uh, Prima section of my hoard vault. I have the Almanac uh, A4 size uh, paper collection, and uh, this is the only one I have. I didn't buy uh, any other, uh, you know, the 12 by 12 or stuff like that. Um, I just have the A4 uh, size, and I plan this one. I plan on using it. Um, because I have an album in mind to make with that. So I have that in my hoard vault for Prima. And other than that, um, surprisingly enough, although I'm a huge fan of Prima, I don't have a lot in my hoard vault. But I do have this. This is a 12 by 12 of the Jodie Lee Nature Garden, which uh, has uh, two pages of each designs in, uh, in this. And uh, I also have the 6x6 pad, which I have not used yet, but I will. And it's even signed by Jody Lee. And so uh, this will be used soon for a custom order. So it's going to leave my hoard vault. And then I'm going to move to another... Uh, oh, no, I'm not done with the Prima. This is still in my stash. So these are, I'm sure everybody rem remember <laughs> these things. And um, I have, uh, I still have that many of them in my stash. Yes. And I have to use them soon because, you know, sometime, uh, at some point uh, you reach a, a phase where you don't want to uh, use them anymore. Not because you want to keep them in your hoard bulb but because you have changed then you don't really like them anymore so sometimes it happens with some uh, some of the stuff in the hoard vaults so these are some um, precious things as well as all of my swirl bling from Prima I have like that thick maybe more uh, packs of um, swirls uh, blingy swirls from Prima that I have in my little box that I refuse to use because I use my dollar store ones so this is pretty pathetic because they they are there and now Prima doesn't even make them anymore because I've seen like CHA this year they have come up with uh, bling but they are like just uh, you know they don't make the swirls anymore because I guess it's not even um, something that people will use or will appreciate so <laughs> that's crazy I have that um, all of these and all the, the smaller packs of the swirls that I don't use and someday I will use them and it's gonna be like you know so uh, uh, a 90s or <laughs> stuff like that so well I'm exaggerating but um, you get the point so now I'm gonna move on to another uh, paper stack which is this one this one is probably one of my all-time fave it's by uh, Cosmo Cricket and I'm not even a, a, a die-hard fan of Cosmo Cricket but this paper stack oh my god when when it came not when it came out but when I first started uh, being interested in uh, scra scrapbooking it was still out there but it was not quite new but uh, I hoarded it I I ordered it from scrapbook.com and I'm in Canada so it cost me an arm and a leg to to get that so I had to stuff the box to you know to uh, make the most of my uh, shipping cost because it was like 20 something dollars to uh, just send shipping cost to ship here so and it was the only store that had that had that collection so this collection is complete I haven't touched it and uh, this is another one that I plan on using eventually, but it really will be a project that I will plan well and I will not just, you know, use it to use it and just to relieve myself of the guilt 
of having a hoard vault. It really will be something that I will uh, cherish a lot when I use this paper uh, this paper stack. So uh, I've kept the best for last and uh, now it's time for uh, graphic 45. So first up I have this Le Romantic 8x8 stack. I have, oops, I'm sorry, I have ordered this online um, I think last year or I don't know but it's it's really not long ago you know I was uh, fortunate enough to find it because when it was all a craze I didn't think I really needed this but I don't know for some reason one day I started being obsessed with this color here like the coral color which is the same that's in the almanac uh, paper stack which I fell in love with and which made me buy the Lindy Stem Gang in the all the corals colors that they had and all the varieties of coral colors so because of the almanac uh, paper stack and then I decided that I needed this collection so uh, I uh, purchased it and I have not used it and probably this one will remain in my hoard vault just because it's so pretty and um, I don't see myself using it. So, next up uh, we have, uh, I'm, um, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. So as you can see here, I have these bottle caps which I've ordered from Etsy. So these have glitter uh, around them and stuff like that. So they are super cool and they are covered with uh, epoxy. So I've ordered them um, in uh, with the intention of using them with this paper collection, which I have never used because I am just simply unable to do anything with it. I cannot cut into it. I need a therapy. I saw Beverly uh, from the piece by piece do a magnificent uh, job with um, Alice in Wonderland album and she used this paper stack and um, more uh, stuff that she has on her uh, Etsy store but you know um, it, one day I will use it because I really really want to make something uh, related to uh, Alice in Wonderland but I have as you see 12 by 12 and the 8 the 8 by 8 and I even bought uh, some extra sheets uh, for the the 12 by 12 and so because the cutouts uh, don't come with the collection so I had to purchase them separately and last but not least it's no surprise this is the steampunk debutante paper collections and I have two 12 by 12s and two 8 by 8 and those I was lucky enough to purchase from uh, purchased to purchase from um, oh, what's her name oh my god what's her name pink scrapper 99 how can I forget her name pink scrapper 99 is oh my goodness I can't believe I have a blank okay well she had a, an online store and it was a uh, pink scrappers boutique and uh, she had oh no it was before she had the pink scrapper boutique uh, uh, website it was on her blog and she had uh, extras uh, extra paper stacks and so she had some graphic 45 and she were selling them uh, super cheap I mean they were uh, not in production anymore I think they were retired and she was selling them uh, cheaper than uh, what we would uh, pay for them in the stores so I grabbed a couple of them and um, same thing I have um, I will eventually use them but uh, they are in my hoard vault uh, since a very long time and this paper collection I um, discovered through uh, Psycho Moms which is Tanya. Uh, the first ever video I watched of her was her mini album the steampunk uh, mini album where okay I won't spoil the, the the surprise here for those of you who haven't seen this uh, video but it's a pretty uh, old one I will link it in the description bar because you guys have to see it it's it's very uh, super amazing what she did with this paper paper collection and the cut the all the, the 
I'm getting excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't talk. So, but the whole concept of the steampunk and the story behind um, what she did and why she did it, and um, you know, um, it's it's crazy. So, uh, out of these uh, papers, I have used one or two sheets to make a project because uh, Psycho Moms. Uh, maybe a year after uh, I watched her video, she was having a challenge and uh, you could win a prize and it was uh, Lindy Stem Gang, you know, sponsoring this, the challenge and so the challenge was, um, I don't know it was uh, for how many subscribers that she had at the point but it was to create something that was inspired by her something she maybe, um, uh, maybe that we have learned from her, from her, or uh, tricks that uh, we have uh, kept from her, and so it was a project that uh, was inspired by her. And so I have made a canvas, and I've used uh, an image from this paper collection. So um, if you want to uh, see it, um, I can also link it in the description bar uh, below because uh, I won uh, first prize and. Um, Tracy at Lindy's Time Gang was uh, pretty impressed that uh, she even uh, gave me um, more than she was uh, supposed to give for the first prize winner. So I was pretty proud about that. And uh, that's what um, ends my um, Horde Vault video. Uh, I guess there are more somewhere, but I can't think of it up the top of my of the top of my head right now. But um, I'm sure there are still some couple of things that are uh, hidden somewhere that uh, even I cannot re remember. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and I uh, uh, really uh, enjoyed participating in this uh, sharing of our Ord Vault treasures. Thanks for watching, and uh, also I really wanted to mention that I'm also working on using stuff from my hoard vault since last year. So this is a share of my hoard vault, but in the near future, the, pretty much all the projects that you will see will come from uh, stuff from my hoard from my hoard vault. So it's going to be inter interesting to see that. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.